Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. So for those who may not have been watching for a while, we've mentioned a couple times it's Zuri's birthday today. Woo woo. Yeah, woo hoo, <laughs> indeed. Uh, I, I was going to order some warmer weather for you. You say you like 70s and 80s. I think I messed it up. I have 50s and 60s, and I also have a little bit of snow. Ben, Oops. you got my order wrong again? What's going on? I'm not very good at this whole thing. I'm going to stick with predicting the weather rather yeah. than trying to make it happen. <laughs> but this is just a testament to how cold it's been, at least compared to normal this time of year. This is the top of Stratton Mountain today, an elevation of almost 4,000 feet, waking up to a decent amount of snow. Looks like a couple inches on the ground there. And as we look at the rest of the day today, it's a drier trend by the afternoon. Any rain ending early, giving way to increasing sun. And that actually ends up being the pick of the entire Memorial Day weekend because for both Sunday and Monday, we're looking at an increased chance for showers. This is how the forecast has been trending over the past 24 hours. Temperatures still pretty chilly as compared to normal this time of year. 40s for a lot of us, but down to 35 in Saranac Lake, 32 out in Messina. Storm tracker showing any showers out there largely winding down. We're just following a couple lingering sprinkles, I guess you could call them, near Brattleboro, Wilmington, down towards Reedsboro and just south of Bennington. But as we look at the wider shot here, there is another batch of rain that may be moving into southern Vermont over the next couple of hours. But I think once we get that out of here, we're looking at a mostly dry afternoon, especially as we go towards the evening. So for the Champlain Valley, here's the plan over the next 12 hours. Decent amount of clouds, but I think we'll see a general trend towards a sunnier sky as we go towards the afternoon and especially right around sunset. Temperatures getting into the 60s, so warmer than the past couple of days. 65 is the call in Burlington and Plattsburgh. Off to the south, because we have so many clouds and also the rain early on, temperatures stuck in the 50s today. Kind of a weird distribution on the temperature map. And if you're thinking of hitting Lake Champlain, there will be a north to northeast wind about 5 to 15 miles per hour. It's enough to maybe provide a light chop on the broad lake. One to two foot waves expected. Water temperature down to 51 degrees. Here's future cast. You can see most of these showers on the way out by about 11 o'clock or so. And then we get you to 6 o'clock. A lot of sun in northern New York and spotty cloud cover across Vermont. I think the clouds come back in earnest as we go towards Sunday morning, though. Mostly dry start to the day, so any morning plans look totally good to go. But check out what happens as we go into the afternoon. This is 2 o'clock. Scattered showers starting to work in. I think mainly east of the Champlain Valley, so we're talking the Northeast Kingdom much of southern Vermont. If you live in northern New York, I think this day is mostly dry. And the wettest part of the day overall, Sunday night into early Monday morning. This is Memorial Day itself. Decent amount of sun in northern New York. The best chance for lingering showers. Again, farther east you go, mainly over New Hampshire. And we're not talking about a ton of rain. You can see a couple tenths of an inch possible in the Northeast Kingdom. I think the most rain that'll fall over the next 48 hours will be in the extreme southeastern part of our region. Some spots possibly getting over an inch of additional liquid, not counting what fell yesterday. Looking at the five day forecast, we're in the 60s through about Monday, but back in the 70s as we look towards Tuesday, Wednesday, and then 80s and 90s by next weekend with an increasing chance for thunderstorms.